Hey everybody, how's it going? Kai here, back for another Daily Shave for West Coast Shaving. I know it's been a while, but uh, just been on a little bit of a hiatus, but happy to be back. So today's soap is going to be Cluster Fig from Barrister Man. So uh, I have this loaded up in my Paladin. This is a Samurai shape in Conflux Ebonite. So I'm just gonna get my face wet right here. Then I'll get lathering. So cluster fig is a very fig forward scent as one would expect from the name. Uh, an immediate similarity I draw, at least off the tub, is the Ariana and Evans summer fig soap. So if you're familiar with that and you enjoy that, this is a very, um, very similar scent in that both of them are very fig forward. Uh, I would say this one is a little bit brighter. So the scent notes are right here on the on the um, the tub cover, and it's green fig, lemon, apple, violet, amber, orange blossom, and jasmine. So. Fig is uh, very, it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet because it is like that green fig, so it's not really ripe. There are the floral notes. And then some sweetness does come from the apple as well. So it is a very, more, um, I'd almost describe it as more of a spring or summertime scent. But if you live someplace warm like I do, um, pretty much good for year round. As with most Barrister Mans, this is a nice mid-tier scent strength. Not too strong, but definitely present. So mid-tier about five, and then once lathered, it does uh, go to about a six. So very nice strength. So as you can see with the uh, Excelsior base, it doesn't take a lot of time to whip up a very nice lather. I'm just gonna keep adding water to this until I get the desired sheen that I want. I'm just gonna paint it in. I'm not looking for a big built up lather. I just want more. Um, more slickness and more glide. That's uh, one big tip I can give for people transitioning over to a straight razor is make sure you really hydrate that lather uh, with a DE. Kind of have that safety bar, adding a little bit of uh, glide, even though you know it's a piece of metal, but it still does help the, the razor glide over the skin a little bit better. So you can kind of get away with having a more dry and pasty lather if that's what you like. Um, but with a straight razor, you pretty much always need hydration. Um, I noticed that with pretty much every straight razor user, everybody goes for a very 
hydrated, kind of low volume, just high slick lather. And if that's what you use for your DE, um, you know, that's great. It'll be a little bit easier getting used to. But definitely if you're if you're one that likes a a little bit of more of a dry lather, um, you know, a little bit more pasty, then it is something you're gonna have to um, have to change a little. At least for me, in my experience. So, razor, talking about straights. Gonna go with my Max Brecker. This is a 1916s near wedge Spanish point. Uh, it's got file work down the spine with power scales and power inlay on the tang along with an extended tail. So, here we go. So the Excelsior base pretty much takes the best of all of uh, Barrister Man's previous bases and combines them into one. So you get an extremely slick but also very uh, easy to lather soap. So I wouldn't describe this soap as thirsty. Cause to me, uh, when I say soap is thirsty, I'm saying it needs a lot of water in order for me to dial it in properly. This soap can take a lot of water, but in order to get a good uh, slick lather. It doesn't really take a lot of water. So that's where I'd say a soap has a, uh, a large water band, but a uh, like an easy, an easy like dial in, like you don't need tons and tons of water in order to get it workable. So, yeah, the slickness is outstanding. I don't do a ton of buffing, but when I do buff, the residual slickness is outstanding. And like I said, it's very easy to work with, so you can have a more uh, low volume lather like like I like right here or you know you can really build up that cushion if you want to but yeah very nice very dense is still uh, hovering around a six, so very nice, still present. There's enough complexity in it that, uh, you know, the scent doesn't dissipate as the shape goes on. Alright, so we're going cross grain now.
so for me, I really love the uh, the smiling blades for this area right here. I notice just the way it curves, just kind of gets into that that little nook right here a little bit better for me. Also right here, um, I have a little bit of a hollow area. So it kind of really helps out with that. I also like the uh, the efficiency that comes with the slight the slight smile. I feel like it gives a little bit more of a slicing action than a uh, than a straight spine. Very nice second pass. Face is feeling really good. That feel after I rinse off my face, I can tell it's very hydrating. Soap has just outstanding post shave feel. Like I know it's technically not post shave, but when I rinse off in between passes, like you can kind of get a feel for what the post shave is going to feel like uh, based off that rinse. Yeah, I'm just going to add a tad bit of water, not because it dried out, but just because I just want a lot of thickness. I don't mind the lather being a little thinner to get more water in there. Alright. Very nice. And then I'm gonna do my 10 laps right here. Like I said, if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. I just feel like it helps make that, uh, this last pass right here, just a little smoother. Uh, for those of you who do like a two shave uh, or a two pass shave, um, so maybe you just go with the grain, cross the grain, with the game, grain against the grain, um, I'd say still give it a try. I'm not too sure how much it'll help out because you are doing uh, one less pass. But I mean, I, I feel like it'll help out regardless. Maybe not as much as if you were to do three passes, but I feel like it would still help out a little bit. So here we go, finish up. And to get my chin, I'm pushing down right here, trying to tighten that skin.
when I do my mustache. Uh, I do do a stroke um, straight up, but my mustache hair grows at a slight angle instead of just straight down right here. So going with a, a sort of cross grain, like a cross stroke, but I angle it up a little bit. Uh, that tends to get me very close in the mustache. And then I always try to be careful right here. Make sure I clear my ear first before I start uh, the buffing. Very nice. Yeah, slickness is just outstanding. And then fools pass. Oof. Beautiful shape. Fantastic, as always with uh, Excelsior stuff is amazing. Uh, definitely one of the best bases on the market. And uh, if you're someone just trying to get into straight razor shaving, I think Excelsior is a great base to use because like I said, uh, it's very easy to get well hydrated. So even if you're used to kind of not hydrating a soap a ton, uh, it has a very wide water band, so you can kind of play with that water, not have to worry about uh, breaking the soap, and uh, you can still get a, a decent lather for straight razor shaving, even without maybe like hydrating it as much as you would have needed to with like, let's say another soap. So I think if you're trying to make a transition to uh, from DE to straight razor, or from uh, you know DE, SE even to Chevette or Straight Razor or anything like that. Um, just something without a skin guard. I think Excelsior is a, a, a great base to get you started. And then once you kind of get a little bit better with the lathering, then you can kind of branch out a little bit more. But i um, just gonna draw off my face and get on the aftershave. So I do not have the, uh, the matching splash for the cluster fig, but I do have Ariana and Evan's summer fig. Like I said, a uh, very close match. Um, I'd say Ariana and Evan's, the, the summer fig is maybe a little more cologne than the cluster fig is. But yeah, almost no burn whatsoever. Very nice, very comfortable feeling on the post shave so and then if you're using this at night and you would like to forego a post shave product or maybe you just don't want a uh, a strong aftershave smell and you want to forgo a post shave product you this soap definitely has a uh, a fantastic post shave and you can do so but very nice bbs pretty much everywhere zero irritation no worry of irritation really and uh yeah just fantastic so again this is our uh barrister man cluster fig and uh that's it for me so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it uh, helpful and useful and i hope to see you in the next one see ya